The Reformation had a dramatic impact on the view of education and its necessity. The whole theology of the Reformation made education important. Now we need to draw a contrast because the medieval Catholic Church did not really value education for the common person. Education was primarily for those preparing for the priesthood or some place in the church. Uh, so certainly girls were rarely educated unless they were in a wealthy family or royalty. Now the university, uh, the Reformation comes along and they say, uh, this, this is the word of God. This is precious. And every person needs to be able to access this book. Now the Catholic Church had pretty well prohibited people from reading the Bible. I mean, you could get in serious trouble for reading the Bible, and they were definitely the only people who were qualified to interpret the Bible. So reading the Bible, it was at best a, a non-essential, at worst illegal, could get you in serious trouble. The Reformation was just the opposite. It was saying, this book is so precious. It's God's word to us. And every person needs to be able to read it. So to read it, you need to be taught to read. And since every person needs access to it, then we need to teach both boys and girls. And so one of the big pieces of the Reformation was promoting universal compulsory education for boys and for girls. A few weeks ago, I was lecturing in Ukraine at several universities. I was lecturing on global trends in higher education. And in each one, I would say, I'm going to take a, a silly quiz here. I want to ask you a question. I said, how many of you attended primary school? And they all raised their hand. I said, it's, it's silly, isn't it? Because I know you would not be here if you had not gone to primary school. Because everybody goes to primary school. And that's because of the Reformation. Because the Reformation made education compulsory. So you had the Reformation people establishing hundreds and hundreds of primary schools and then secondary schools all across Protestant Europe. And so all of a sudden, the populace was becoming educated. Standards of living were going up. And Protestant nations were the first nations in the world to eliminate illiteracy because we need to read this book. We need to know how to read. And so it had this amazing impact on education. But it's not just the fact of reading the Bible. Luther was very strong on the priesthood of all believers. Now, if you're a priest before God, that means you are in ministry regardless of what your job is, then you need to be prepared to, be prepared to do that well. And so Luther and Calvin and Melanchthon all em emphasized the importance of Christians being in government and being in business and in commerce. All this in contrast, of course, to what the medieval Catholic Church emphasized. And they said to do those jobs well, you need to be trained. You need to be educated. And so just for the stewardship of your work, you need to be well educated. So that's why it's interesting that Protestants to even today should be the most pro-education people in the world because our whole movement was birthed out of education and we were really the promoters of universal compulsory education in every nation where the gospel took hold. People have always, we've always said, you need to read the Word of God, so we're going to translate it in your language, then we'll teach you to read, and then let the Word of God do its work in transforming that society.